Hey dog collectors, Justin Audistry here, and today I'm going to be unboxing Barbie Fashionista number 157 and number 161, and I got these two dolls today at Walmart. So, it looks like I have almost all of the dolls from this wave. I have two of her, her, two of her, 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 him, him, but only his clothes since this one had a defected head, and him. Remember, I used him to create my mini-me doll. So it looks like I only have one, two, three, four dolls to find in this wave, and then I'll have the whole set. Well, she was on the shelf, so I'll possibly get her maybe on my birthday or during summer. And I don't know why this slim can with the jacket is so hard to find. So, without further ado, let's get number 157 of her bag for a closer look. Her message at the bottom says, you have what it takes to be successful. Okay, I got her out of the bag. So, here she is. Check her out, you guys. She's so adorable. What I really like about this doll is her face mold. She has dimples. Kind of like the 126 Fashionista I reviewed in my previous video. Her eyes are light blue or periwinkle, and she has a pixelated pink lips. Her hair is very beautiful, it's like a light purple or violet, and yes, she could use a little bit of a hair treatment, because her hair feels a little boxy. Her outfit is a red and black plaid dress with stars. There are ruffles around the sleeves. The print goes all the way around the dress and it velcros in the back. Her shoes are these white cowgirl boots which I really don't have in my collection because this is possibly a new shoe mold. And her accessory is this cactus sling bag. The only thing I found adorable about this doll is the doll itself. What I really don't like about this doll is her dress. Yeah, it's kinda ugly looking in my opinion. But I really like the shoes. So. This dress has to be removed immediately. Since she has purple hair, I'm going to name this girl Amethyst. And now, let's get number 161 out of her bag. Her inspiration message at the bottom says, You are a special and important person.
Okay, I got number 161 out of her bag. So, here she is. I gotta tell you guys this, that she's actually one of my favorites from this line. She's starting to give me like Dreamtopia vibes right about now. Her face is kind of like the Grace face mode or the Embilly face mode. I don't know, it looks kind of new. Her eyes are brown and she has pink lipstick. What I like about this doll's face is that it's not pixelated, so yeah, that's kind of cool. This doll has short orange hair, which I really like. Check out her outfit, you guys. It's so cool. Her outfit is a pink and black plaid dress. There are puff sleeves. And instead of the Velcro being on the back, the Velcro is actually in the front. I gotta say, this dress looks so formal on her. And I just wish the sleeves weren't puffy. I just wish they were actual sleeves. Her shoes are these black transparent glittery boots, which is super cool. I think I have shoes like this in my collection. And her accessory is a yellow hip bag or fanny pack. However, I just wish her accessory was like a bracelet because I don't think she'll be wearing the yellow fanny pack in this video. Girlfriend is not going to be wearing the yellow fanny pack. <laughs> there. That's better. Since this, since she's wearing plaid, I'm going to name this girl Patricia. I hope you guys enjoy my unboxing video on Barbie Fashionista number 157 and number 161. And as always you guys, like, comment, subscribe, click on the notification button, and follow me on Instagram at Justin Artistry. So anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. And as for a little bonus video. I decided to give Amethyst a made to move Barbie body. So, the body I chose for her is the made to move curvy dancer body because I want to keep this girl as a curvy and I switched out her hideous outfit for this adorable Lotrin Stars outfit instead. And I gotta say, I like how the color matches her hair. And yes, I did wash her hair. But wait, this girl is missing something. And that is a pair of cat ears. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at her. She's so kawaii. So, what do you guys think of Amethyst on her made to move Barbie body? Let me know in the comments. Wait, what happened to her? Sorry Amethyst, this is your original body when you got a body transplant. Um, okay, but please don't show me any headless dolls around here. They kind of give me the creeps.
は歯車のように時を刻み続け愛情も感情のままに君にかけて奪わなしたいけど胸の奥で望む全て君なしじゃ成り立たないことが多すぎて今日もまた言えずじまい